ability is the ability of a tissue to produce its own impulses regularly. It is also called autorhythmicity or self-excitation. Property of rhythmicity is present in all the tissues of the heart. The heart has a specialized excitatory structure from which the discharge of impulses is rapid. This specialized structure is called the pacemaker. From here, the impulse is spread to other parts through the specialized conductive system. A pacemaker is a structure of the heart from which the impulses for heartbeats are produced. It is formed by pacemaker cells called the P-cells. In mammalian hearts, the pacemaker is the sinoatrial node, which is also known as the SA node. The sinoatrial node is a small stripe of modified cardiac muscle situated in the superior part of the lateral wall of the right atrium just below the opening of superior vena cava. The fibers of this node do not have contractile elements. These fibers are continuous with the fibers of atrial muscle. So that the impulses from the SA node spread rapidly through the atria. Other parts of the heart, such as the atroventricular node, the atria and the ventricle also can produce the impulses and function as pacemakers. Still, the SA node is called the pacemaker because the rate of production of impulse or rhythmicity is more in SA node than in other parts. Mammalian heart has got a specialized conductive system by which the impulses from SA node spread to other parts of the heart. Now, the rhythmicity of the SA node is 70 to 8 beats per minute. That of the AB node is 40 to 60 beats per minute. The rhythmicity of the atrial muscle is 40 to 60 beats per minute. That of Purkinje fibers is 35 to 40 beats per minute. And for the ventricular muscle, it is 20 to 40 beats per minute. Now, pacemaker potential is the unstable resting membrane potential in SA node. It is also called the prepotential. The electrical potential in SA node is different from that of other cardiac muscle fibers. In SA node, each impulse triggers the next impulse. It is mainly due to the unstable resting membrane potential. The resting membrane potential in SA node has a negativity of minus 55 to minus 60 millivolts. It is different from the negativity of minus 85 to minus 95 millivolts in other cardiac muscle fibers. Now, for the action potential of the SA node, usually depolarization starts very slowly and the threshold level of minus 40 millivolts is reached very slowly. After the threshold level, rapid depolarization occurs up to plus 5 millivolts. It is followed by rapid repolarization. Once again, the resting membrane potential becomes unstable and reaches the threshold level slowly. Now, the resting membrane potential is not stable in the SA node. To start with, sodium ions leak into the pacemaker fibers and cause slow depolarization. This slow depolarization forms the initial part of pacemaker potential. Then the calcium channel starts opening. At the beginning, there is a slow influx of calcium ions, causing further depolarization in the same slower rate. It forms the later part of the pacemaker potential. Thus, the initial part of pacemaker potential is due to slow influx of sodium ions and the later part is due to the slow influx of calcium ions. When the negativity is decreased to minus 40 millivolts, which is a threshold level, the action potential starts with rapid depolarization. The depolarization occurs because of the influx of more calcium ions. Now, unlike in other tissues, the depolarization in SA node is mainly due to the influx of calcium ions rather than sodium ions. Now, after rapid depolarization, repolarization starts. It is due to the influx of potassium ions from the pacemaker fibers. Potassium channels remain open for a longer time, causing efflux of more potassium ions. It leads to the development of more negativity beyond the level of resting membrane potential. It exists only for a short period. Then the slow depolarization starts once again, leading to the development of pacemaker potential, which triggers the next action potential.